about every artist I know has a box of paper. If we save paper. I'm going to do something like this. And then I cut these for a book. Scraps of paper. I have been dying to try to recycle these Netflix. These little sticker things right here. I'm going to tear them out. Because I don't think I want those to be, they might cause a problem. And then you're going to cover it with water. I'll let mine sit overnight. Okay, so you will need a blender. Handmade paper pulp screens. All they are is just boards glued together and then hammered together and then I have um, put tooling that you can get at your fabric store and just staple those on there. And mine are pretty dirty and I have two sizes. This is like a regular eight and a half by eleven and this is just a little one that I made for card size. And you'll need a sponge and a tub of water and a lightweight towel, very lightweight or a handy wipe. And then of course t-shirt and then we're soaking this up soaking the excess water up Oops. and dumping it back in and you want to get as much of the water out as you can and then you gently remove your screen I'm going to flip that over and gently with the edges. And then you just let it dry. Okay, before each piece of paper that you do, stir your pulp up again. Okay, now I'm going to be using the larger one. You see it separate like that? I'm going to push a little more on there to it. And then let it drain a little. And then we're going to go over here. And we're going to flip it onto. And now we're going to again get the water out. Mm -hmm. Take your paper. It's five o'clock. Flip it over. Gently. That's why it's good to use a handy wipe because they don't soak up as much water. The t-shirt looks okay. Now we're going to let that dry overnight. 
Okay, I've never tried this before, but I'm going to try it today, so bear with me. It might not turn out. I'm going to spray Pam on this metal three-dimensional Indian head. And then I'm going to go ahead and make another piece of paper and have it ready. And I'm just going to apply it over top of the Indian head and very gently remove the uh, paper pulp from the t-shirt from the material. And I'm just going to kind of try to mold it very gently to this Indian head's face and, and uh, headdress and the rim. What it is is a lid to a little jewelry box type thing. And I'm just going to mold that around and, and let it dry overnight. And I'll come back tomorrow and finish working on this when it's dry. And then just make sure that you go ahead and you red those off right away, otherwise it's almost impossible to rinse them off. So if you're using the um, the t-shirt, it's kind of thick. I think the handy wipes work better, but next time I'm going to try this thin, very thin cotton dishcloth and see what happens. Okay, so here we are the next day. The first one turned out very well. It was very thick. It was thick, just enough thickness. I thought it was going to be too thick, but here you can just about see where the pulp didn't get over top the whole page. See that where the light goes through? So you want to make sure that your pulp is very thick. And I'm really tickled with this. This turned out fantastic. So I think I'll probably be doing more of those in the future try to find some interesting looking three-dimensional objects to make out of paper. Isn't that cool? Okay, so now I'm just going to cut out the shape a little bit, get rid of this excess paper because I'm going to do another take on yet again the recycled wine bottles. And I got the idea simply by seeing a wine bottle sitting on the counter when I was uh, looking at the way this turned out. Well, I, I am going to use this really strong jewelry glue because the bottle's glass and this this paper for the uh, three-dimensional uh, Indian head is a little thick, so I want to make sure that it stays on the bottle. So I'm using this because I, I think Elmer's glue might slide off, right? So I'm going to go ahead and put uh, some Elmer's glue on the paper as well. Um, like I said, bear with me. I've never done this before, so I just want to, you know, I'm just trying to, trying different things out. And that's what you have to do. You just have to experiment and see what works and what doesn't. And it, it might take a few tries, but, um, it's fun and it's worth it. Okay, so the next day, that glue is dried and the Indian head has stayed on so now I'm just going to put some more of this Elmer's wood glue and um, I've made some more paper I'm going to I'm going to wrap the entire bottle in paper because I had all this leftover pulp and I didn't know what to do with it and I didn't want to throw it away so I just keep applying small pieces of the paper pulp to the bottle gently pressing and smoothing out any air bubbles underneath because I don't think air bubbles would be a good thing. Just in little increments by one by one and this is what I got. Another thing you can do with the paper is you can make it as thick as you like. I made these two little envelopes and then used a hole punch to punch around here and add um, sinew, stitch them together with sinew and raffia. And then I inserted a little piece, a little card piece for, you know, greeting card or birthday card or uh, invitation to a party. They're really cute and they make uh, really cute um, handmade gifts. <laughs>